Hey guys, so I just finished up at the gym and am now all changed and ready for the day. So I'm just wearing this black like uh, square neck shirt from H&M and it's a crop top, but it's a little bit of a longer one. And then I'm wearing my new joggers from Brandy Melville and they're literally one of the best things I've ever purchased. They're so comfy and I just love the comfy like waistband. So it's not a super thick one and they're kind of a bit baggy. And I love them. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, what have I done? Yeah, so I worked out and didn't film my whole workout because someone came into the gym and I felt a bit awkward like filming my workout because it was some guy and I was like, eh, I'll just leave it there. So yeah, anyway, didn't finish that off but just had like a great shower and put some dry shampoo in my hair because I'm not quite ready to wash it just yet and I do like that it's still a bit curly from New Year's Eve. So hoping I can push it like one more day. So yeah, anyway, I'm about to make some lunch. It's gonna be a very random lunch because I'm kind of just like finishing up things we have in the fridge. So yeah, I'll show you what I'm having. So I am going to finish off some of the soup. There's literally like nothing left in here. There's probably like that much left in there, but it's otherwise it's just gonna sit there. So I'm gonna finish this. Off. It's just an organic butternut squash soup and I love butternut squash soup. It's my favorite um, I'm gonna cook up a little bit of asparagus I have been craving asparagus for the last like two days, which I've never craved that in my life I always like it, but I never crave it So I'm gonna cook that up and then I'm gonna make a small salad with just some spinach some olives I love olives um, some red pepper and an onion and then I'm gonna put some of this dressing that I have on it. It's a tahini dressing. And I saw it in one of Maggie McDonald's videos and she showed how she made it. And literally, like she showed us how to make it and I thought, wow, that looks amazing. So I decided to make it and it's so like quick and easy to make. All you do is you get some tahini, which is like, it's just crushed sesame seeds. That's all it is. This, pretty sure you just put some olive oil in, some garlic, lemon, salt and pepper and I think that's everything and it's like really really nice so I love that and I like that I got to make it myself because I feel like it's a lot healthier to make your own salad dressings than just like buy them at the store so that's what I did and I've just been I made like a big batch of it and now I'm just like finishing it off so yeah there isn't any protein in here I noticed that but I don't know what to do because we don't have like anything to really cook. And Justin's actually at work today. It's his first day back at work. And all we have in the fridge for protein is some chicken breast, but that's for tonight. So I don't want to eat that. And then uh, we have like the tiniest bit of ground beef left. Like literally like nothing from when we made taco balls. I guess if I'm still hungry later, I might snack on that. So we'll see, but for now, I'm gonna start cooking and I'll show you guys the finished product. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm literally just like laughing at myself. I'm just like, oh my gosh. So the soup, I told you guys it was a little amount, but come on, this is ridiculous. This is all that's left. It's like pretty much like two tablespoons of soup. So, oh, uh, wow. Oh, uh, only me, only me. Justin always says that I leave like, like tiny things in the fridge because if I don't want to finish up something, I'm not going to force myself to eat all of it. I'll just put it in the fridge and finish it later. But wow, this is actually ridiculous. It's like two spoons of soup, but I'll have it anyway since I don't want to waste it. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I have the finished product here. So I ended up making like a mini taco bowl, some asparagus, and a, like a very, very small salad. So this is what it looks like right here. So we have my little mini taco bowl with all of the leftovers that I managed to find. Um, the asparagus with the tahini sauce on, and then just some spinach, um, olives, and tahini sauce. I didn't feel like cutting any more vegetables, but I figured this was plenty of vegetables, and I have some protein, um, and a little bit of carbs, because there's rice there, so. Yeah, Ooh, that looks really good. So I'm gonna eat that for lunch. Um, drink a ton of water since I just worked out. 
and I haven't really used my Hydrofloss since school hasn't been like in session and everything. So I figured I would just use it because I really want to track my water instead of just having glasses because I never keep track of how many I'm having. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and I think either watch some TV or some YouTube. We'll see if anyone's posted anything for me to watch. So yeah. sit down and kind of talk to you about my goals for 2020 so I've been thinking about them for a while probably since like mid-December I say and I had already written down them a few days ago like actually like finalizing them before um, New Year's Eve in my 2019 journal but I wanted to go ahead and put them into my 2020 journal since I'm gonna be throwing this one away since I no longer need it and it's gonna be so satisfying to just throw this whole thing away because I know there's like a ton of stuff in here like it's just like crazy so it's gonna be so nice to start fresh I've already started to put um, like video ideas into here just things I have to get done like already started you know planning out my whole week and everything like that and I love this new journal it's gonna be hard with the lighting for you guys to see this but it's so cute and so simple it just says 2020 right there and then it's got this like iridescent kind of thing going on here but I thought it was really pretty and this other one was a bit too like pink and bright for my liking but this is way more like my style and I got it from Marshalls and it was only five dollars which is such a great buy and it's the exact same one I had last year so I know the layout of it and yeah it's perfect it has like all of the months like in full which I love that's probably my most used part of it then it has the weeks and then you can go through and there is a whole note section okay so in terms of my goals I have written down 10 that I want to achieve in 2020 um I feel like so yeah so ever since I was a little girl my mom would always start off the new year with asking me what my goals were she'd always say like what are your goals for school what are your goals for something else like different areas in your life and yeah so my mom has always made me do that but I think now that I'm in college and I have a lot of like things that I want to accomplish I'm much more motivated to actually like start my own goals and not just you know do them because my mom is making me set goals but thanks mom for making me do that when I was younger <laughs> but yeah so I've picked 10 goals that I think are pretty achievable nothing like too crazy but I really do want to make sure that I stick with them this year that's why I just put them in the back of my diary since or my journal whatever you want to call it but since I'm going to be using it almost every day or at least minimum every week, I want it to be there so I can always be reminded of what I want to get done this year. And they're kind of areas, like all different areas in my life. And I didn't want to give myself too many goals because I feel like I'm just never going to accomplish them. So yeah, there's a few things that I really want. And I think, well, if I implement all of these things into my life it will be a great 2020 for me so without further ado i'm just going to jump in and i'll put all of the goals on the screen so you guys can see exactly what they are so the first one is about fitness so my first goal is to work out four times a week minimum so for me i've always i don't know like for me working out comes and goes i always cycle through everything and i'll be really into fitness and then all of a sudden like three months later i just don't work out at all and i just lose all of my fitness and it seriously sucks and it also sucks when you don't have a goal i feel like that's what always unmotivates me is when i don't have a specific goal in mind it's really hard for me to just work out just to you know work out and feel good I know that like when you do work out you always feel better after but for me I think if I don't have a goal I find it really hard to you know achieve this so I thought I would do four times a week because that gives me three whole days off so if I want to have the whole weekend off and maybe a Friday off I can but I feel like four times is a good amount where I can get everything I want to get done done so I've already implemented this goal into my life probably like two weeks ago I'd say so I've been just trying to go minimum four times a week obviously if I can go longer um, or go more I will but my 
my idea is that one day is going to be a back and biceps day, another day is going to be chest and triceps, and I always do those with Justin because I hate doing arms, but I know that I need to work out my whole body and not just like my legs, which is my favorite part to work out. And then another day is going to be more of a legs day, and the other day is going to be more of a glute day since, I don't know, I really want to focus on getting stronger legs and then my upper body, I don't know, I like to have a slim upper body and so I feel like if I just work it out like once a week, we'll be good. <laughs> so yeah, and my whole like goal for this is that Justin and I have been talking about a trip since probably halfway through last year that we really want to go to Australia when I graduate in December. So that's my motivation is that I have, I want to see what I can achieve with one whole year. So the second goal is to make more girlfriends. I feel like this has always been a struggle for me since I always tend to have a lot more guy friends than girlfriends. I don't know why, but I also just think I don't like the drama associated with girls. Like I've had some girlfriends in the past where like they their lives are just so drama filled and it really sucks the energy out of me when I have to, you know, deal with that and obviously, I don't know. It's a whole big thing, but pretty much last year, I cut ties with a lot of girls in my life, like people who were my best friends. And just for my own health, I just had to cut ties because they weren't, they weren't like good friends to me, but I was a good friend to them and this whole big thing. So it was, I don't know, I don't want to talk about it and I don't want, I don't know, I don't want them to obviously watch this and see me talking about them because they probably know, they, they know who they are, but yeah, it's like a whole big thing. So yeah, so anyway, I want to definitely get more girlfriends. I have some girlfriends who live in this building that I really like. They're such genuine, nice people. And the whole thing is, I just want to find more people like that. Just genuinely nice people. And so that's kind of my goal, but it is hard since I don't plan on staying in Connecticut after this year. So if I make a bunch of friends, it's gonna to suck to leave them the next year, but I still want to make some girlfriends, whether it's at university or wherever I meet them. So yeah. <laughs> okay. So number three is to grow my channel. I really want to focus on that. I definitely grew quite a lot in 2019, especially with the kind of content I was doing. I was doing way more like beauty tutorials in the beginning of 2019. And then I kind of transitioned. I think when I changed as a person, so did my content. So it's become more like lifestyle and a bit of fashion and beauty, but I'd say predominantly lifestyle. Um, so yeah, anyway, I gained just over 6,000 subscribers in one year and I was really happy with that. And I'm so thankful for all of you guys who support me. I always love reading your like sweet comments and you guys are honestly like really, really lovely. And yeah, so anyway, this year I just want to continue to grow. I really want to find, you know, my brand. That's what I want to do. I want to find my brand. I want to engage more with you guys and just, I don't know, just grow my channel and see where it can go in my second year of YouTube. So that is one of my goals. Okay, so number four is to spend less and save more. So this is a really hard thing for me to do since I don't have a job. So the only income I have is from YouTube. So I get paid just a very small amount when ads go onto my videos. So I earn money from YouTube, but it's not a lot, not a lot, not a lot to like keep me going. And then I'm very lucky that my parents actually give me an allowance because they don't want me to work when I'm at university. They just kind of want me to focus on school. So I'm very fortunate about that. And so yeah, I really just want to focus on spending less because I don't think I spend a lot now, but I know that sometimes I find myself looking at my credit card statement and I'm like, how the hell did I spend that much in one month? Like, what did I do? You know, I hate that feeling. So I just want to make sure that as soon as I get any sort of money, whether it's from YouTube or something like that, and I just want to put it away. I've already opened up another savings account different from my bank, so I can't actually like touch it. Like it's not, I don't see it every day. So yeah, I opened that up. I've already put some money in there and I really just want to save as much as I can. And especially when it comes to summer, because summer is when I always get my like part-time job or full-time job. So I'm hoping to save like literally like 80%, I think, 
of what I'm gonna make this summer and put it all towards Justin and our big trip in December. Number five is to make healthier choices. This is another goal that I have already started as well. It's kind of entire it's kind of tied in with the whole like fitness thing and just for me I don't want to change my diet completely because I feel like whenever I do major things like that I, I never follow through I'm not gonna limit myself and say I'm cutting out chocolate or anything like that I just want to just make an effort and make healthier choices you know instead of having a coffee that's like really sweet at Starbucks switch it out for you know something a little bit healthier like a cold brew coffee or something like that and then just in general just making my diet slightly healthier so for example like making salad dressing instead of just buying it or just you know having more greens in my diet because I feel like especially last year I feel like I didn't eat enough greens so this year I am really trying to whether it's in like green juices or something like that just really like implement more greens into my lifestyle and just make healthier choices when I can so that is one of my goals also, this is not my second cup of coffee for the day. This is the coffee that I didn't finish from this morning. I never drink a full cup of coffee in the morning. I always like brew half and then the other half I keep in the fridge. And then if Justin wants it, he can have it or I will have it later in the afternoon. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so number six is to learn to love slash get more involved in cooking. So I really, really hate cooking. <laughs> I am someone who's always hated it. My mom is an amazing cook. Like she never makes the same meal twice. Like she literally just has the most amazing meals. We, whenever I go over, you know, we always have something new and it's, you know, Thai food or just, I don't know, something. It's just always so good. And I just don't like cooking and Justin loves to cook, which is so great. But then, then it leaves him with like most of the cooking. And I feel like I either like don't participate at all and just don't cook and you know, we'll clean after or something, or I just like help him and be his little like sous chef and like cut the veggies or do something to help him. But I just really want to get more into it and just learn to love it more. So I feel like if I get more involved in the process, I'll want to, you know, I'll find my own recipes and maybe you want to cook a meal for Justin and I. So that's one of my goals is just to cook more or at least just help out more in the kitchen because I feel like the more I do it, the more I will eventually learn to love it. So that's what I want to do. <laughs> Number seven is grow as a couple with Justin. So how I plan on doing this is, so last semester, Justin and I, we started going to a church together. It's a local church um, where we live and it's a non-denominational church, which is very different for me since I grew up Catholic. And yeah, we've been going to that really great people at the church and we joined one of the groups that they had on like every Monday night, we would go to a invest group so it was pretty much all married couples and then just Justin and I but it was really great and so beneficial because it just taught us how to like you know be kinder to the other person or like we learned about like the different love languages and how like I maybe feel loved differently so one of mine was like acts of service so when Justin does something for me like maybe he'll clean the house I find that like so nice and I'm so appreciative of that and yeah, so we just kind of did that and I feel like it was really beneficial for our relationship. So this year I plan on doing it again. I think we're going to do it another two times this year because I think that's all it's offered. So we're going to do that and I feel like that's going to really help us grow closer as a couple and just be, you know, better to each other. Okay, so number eight is a school goal. And for me, it's just to finish the year strong. I have exactly one year, two semesters left of college, and then I'm literally done and I'm so thankful. And yeah, so I just wanna finish it out strong. I've been doing really well in college and I'm actually really proud of myself. I've been on Dean's List every semester since I came here to America. So that is my goal is just to continue on. So the last two semesters, I'm challenging myself just to continue to stay on the Dean's List. And that is exactly what I wanna do. I feel like I can definitely do it since I've done it every other semester, but I just really want to say that when I finished my degree, I really gave it my all and I have a lot to show from it. So that is one. <laughs> okay, so number nine, this is gonna be, I think, the hardest goal that I have for 2020. And I feel like I'm gonna get really emotional, but like, 
oh, if you know me, I cry so easily. So oh, I hope I don't cry right now, but it doesn't help that I'm on my period. So I have a ton of emotions. So oh, anyway, it's number nine is just to be kinder to myself. <laughs> I feel like we can really be like, I need a second. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good now. Whew. Okay, so yeah, my goal is just to be kinder to myself. I just feel like there's a lot of pressure out there or not from other people. I feel like I am not, I just feel like I can be really harsh on myself. Like Justin says this all the time because if I don't like how, you know, my body looks or something like that, if I take like an Instagram photo or just in general, I'm really harsh on myself about like how I look and that kind of thing or maybe that my hair doesn't look good enough and when I don't feel like or I feel like when I don't look or I don't think I look good on the outside it really hurts me and affects me in the inside and I, it's so dumb at the same time because I know that like you know Justin tells me all the time like I'm fortunate and you know I don't know <laughs> like I'm very fortunate I don't have any acne um, you know there's a lot of things and I could be you know there's so many other things that are like way more important than looks and ob obviously I have my health and everything like that like I'm not sick at all but I don't know sometimes I just get down about myself and the other day that's I had a really bad day and yeah I just had a bad day and Justin got me flowers and he's so sweet and it's He's so supportive of me and I'm really lucky, but yeah, that's just something that <laughs> oh, I should not have filmed this video when I was on my period, like, oh my gosh. But yeah, just um, this year I just really want to be kinder to myself and just kind of, you know, not feel so much pressure from myself to look a certain way or, I don't know, just really accept myself more and do something like that and I think it's gonna be really hard for me because I don't exactly know what the steps are to get to a different place so I don't know but it's something that I really want to do so that is one of my goals okay so number 10 my very last goal is to get an internship for the summer I'm waiting to hear back from a few places but I am still applying to more because it's something that I really want to do I want to finish the year and you know get amazing grades but also have you know just some experience to back it up with for when I apply for a job as like a real adult so <laughs> yeah I just think that if I get an internship it'll really help my chances and I think it'll just be really great to get experience and just learn more about what I'm doing for those of you who don't know I am in marketing so I'm looking for marketing internships and yeah, preferably digital marketing and social media marketing, that kind of thing. So that is something that I've been looking for. So I really hope I get one for the summer. So I'm gonna keep pushing and hopefully I will get one. So yeah. Okay guys, so I feel like I've been talking for a really long time. So I think I'm gonna end the video off here. So thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that and definitely make sure to turn notifications on so you get alerted every time I upload a video. And yeah, if let me know what your 2020 goals are too. I would love to know since I always like looking at other people's goals and watching videos on them because it's interesting to see what other people's goals are for the year and yeah so let me know if any of yours are the same as mine or maybe if you have different ones I'd love to hear it and yeah other than that thank you guys so much for all of your support that I've had in 2019 I'll see you probably in tomorrow's video I've kind of been daily vlogging since I don't have school so I'll probably upload tomorrow again too so yeah I hope you guys have a really great day and I'll see you tomorrow bye guys